In this video, we have to find an inverse Laplace transform. We're going to use two formulas. First, the inverse Laplace transform of k over s squared plus k squared. This is simply sine of kt. And then we have the inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus k squared. This is simply cosine of kt. So cosine has the s. Cosine has the s. That's how I memorize it. All right, let's go ahead and take the Laplace of the inverse Laplace of the whole thing. So this is 3 over s squared plus 64 plus 2s over s squared plus 81. And now we can use the fact that the Laplace transform or the inverse Laplace transform is linear. So this is the inverse Laplace of, and I'll pull the 3 out. So we end up with 1 over s squared plus 64. And then plus, and here we can pull the 2 out. So we get the inverse Laplace of s over s squared plus 81. Now we have to write everything to match the formulas. So you see here we don't have an s, so this is going to be a sign. So we need to have our k. Well, here we have a 64, so our k is going to be 8, because 64 is 8 squared. So what we'll do is we'll put the 8 there. And we'll write the denominator as s squared plus 8 squared. Now we still have the 3. And by putting the 8 there, we need to get rid of it. So we'll write it like this, 3 eighths. That way the 8s cancel and we get 3. And plus 2, and then inverse Laplace. Here we have s over s squared plus 9 squared. So here we have an s, so we're going to get a cosine. And we're almost done. So this is going to be equal to 3 eighths. And then all of this, here our k is 8. And so it's going to be sine of 8t plus 2. And here we have the s, and cosine has the s, and here k is 9, so it's going to be cosine of 9t. And that is the final answer.